What's up Raiders Bionic here, welcome to today's Raid Shadow Legends video. In fact, you might have a second video today because we have a lot of things to cover, but in this one, this morning, we are going to cover the major announcement we've just had from Plarium on our end for the content creators, which is going to bring some very, very interesting updates to the game which you guys have been waiting for the longest time ever okay so we're gonna do that first and then uh we'll probably cover the video from the doom tower because there are a couple of things that are concerning in there and i think i want to get a few answers before i start covering that so do subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video let's start with this this little announcement sort of what the raid team has been working on and what we have in store we get this every once in a while so here's what they're saying. Uh, one of the things we've been asking for for the longest time, we all know we did several server optimizations lately to overcome the technical limitations that prevent us from expanding the storage. Yeah, the storage. We want more storage. Well, you guys want more storage. I don't. I'm still good on the vault. We're now testing the server load to see how many additional slots will be acceptable. So it is a problem of simply the game cannot handling all our stored champions. Also, again, why they're getting rid of old fusion champion or old champions for fusions, right? They're only putting in new champions. So it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon because they can't have people hoarding all those champions. Uh, they, they're saying that this will probably be increased, but they don't exactly know for sure. It should be mid January and then the same thing with the artifact storage. All right, so they are working on this. Um, but it's not 100% guarantee from what I understand, and it is supposed to be coming relatively soon in Plarium terms. So we'll see how quickly or if we ever get that. Now regarding the upcoming Christmas Fusion, uh, it'll last for two weeks, right? They do say here it'll last for two weeks, like the last one uh, last year, the one from last year. And it starts on December 14th, exactly how I predicted. I'll get to the calendar in a second. Uh, it is Pixniel from the High Elves faction. So you might say uh i'm gonna skip this one big caution here do not skip this one you might or most likely will need this one for the doom tower because they said so in the doom tower video so let's look at that real quick why it's going to be important listen to this little bit right here fight it's going to be real useful against the frost spider as well so he's saying basically the frostbite set which we just saw might be very handy against the frost boss spider right so if you don't have this set which you probably won't in the beginning pixniel might actually be your key to progressing in the doom tower because of the way her passive works so if you skip on pixniel then you might encounter that issue of you not being able to push right her passive is basically whenever an enemy places a freeze debuff on an ally that has a 20 percent chance of stealing the freeze debuff and placing it on this champion instead and then it has a 25 percent chance of filling this champion's turn meter by 25 percent every time they receive a freeze debuff okay so she is there to counter that freeze one from torment in the arena but also for the frost spider so until you get that frostbite set going this might be the way to go right so you do want to pay attention to this do not miss this opportunity because you might regret it in the long run for the doom tower especially since that frost spider will always be there on a rotation right so on a monthly reset we might encounter her faster and then you might run into some issues okay so now on to the calendar which i have somewhat updated a few things have changed so i went over the events 10 chance events and two chance events as well as these summon rushes in champion chase tournaments i in fact think that on the 18th uh, we're actually going to have a two chance sacred champion chase tournament at first i thought the summon rush would be before but because this is in fact starting on the 14th and if we look at what we have ongoing right now the order of two chance ancients two chance void and two chance sacred this seems a little bit more accurate now this is a little bit of a concern because a champion chase tournament is usually a great way for you to generate more points with the champions that you get for the fusion as you fuse the epics and eventually the legendary but because it's at the beginning 
you can't take full of advantage of this. They in fact did something very similar with Vergumkar, and I think that from now on, they're gonna keep doing this, right? I think they noticed that, hey, we were sort of taking advantage of this little situation, so probably never gonna see that again. Therefore, I'm always going to assume I think that the summon rush is at the end. But why is this also a concern? Because you only have two weeks, which is, you know, like Vergumkar. It's the fact, though, that you have the Doom Tower at the same time. So you have to get Pixmule for Doom Tower, but you have to keep pushing in Doom tower if you want to get all the champion fragments because don't forget it is supposedly on a rotation i still don't know 100 if the fragments you get this month you will never get the same champions again it seems a little bit intense but like i'm thinking that you know the first month is going to be crucial if you want to get some of uh, the new ones so you will have to pay attention to this as well okay guys so a lot of work a lot of things to do but tune in i'm gonna have an updated calendar for you guys so that you have a better chance at getting Pixnil. Now, back to the little uh, post here or the news. What else are they working on? They're saying champion AI fixes, some fascinating quality of life features, and of course, brand new awesome champions. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of brand new champions. I even said that in one of my comments in the previous video. I said, uh, they're making more champions than our uh, faster champions than they are making new login reward programs. Well, guess what? At the bottom here, they are saying we are gonna have new login rewards. So I don't know, maybe they heard me? No. But still, more free stuff. That's always awesome. I'm super excited about this. And finally, they're also saying up here that, yeah, we're also for, uh, working on the arena boosting in the platinum tier. Okay, so they said this before. Apparently, it's still not resolved. Uh, so, I mean, at this point, just, just get it done, guys. Like, I want this to be resolved. Maybe I'll have a reason to push for platinum. And, and please make it so that it resets at, like, a reasonable time for me. I can't get up at night. What about you guys? Do you get up at night to push for platinum? I don't do that. Anyway, okay, so guys, that's about it. I wanted to cover the information, a couple more cautions for you guys or how to be better prepared once again for everything that is coming. I am super excited about all this. Like I said, I will cover the Doom Tower video in details next because there are a couple things in there that I want to clarify that you might have missed. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later.